1945, the US magazine Newsweek published an article called Mysterious Balloons. Large numbers of unidentified unmanned balloons had been seen, especially on the west coast of America. The day after the first sightings, stories appeared in many newspapers about the mysterious objects. What were they? Where had they come from? At the time, there was no official response. It turned out that the balloons were carrying bombs and had been sent by the Japanese. The US Army wondered how this was being done. Moreover, the number of sightings of the balloons was increasing day by day. During the Second World War, countries were pushing the boundaries of technology in an effort to develop new weapons, intercontinental rockets, jet engines, a new generation of infantry rifles, and the atomic bomb were among the results of this weapons race. Many other ideas not so well known were also tried out. One of these was the bomber balloon. Japanese meteorologist Wasaburu Oishi had been studying jet streams in the Pacific. Oishi discovered a jet stream that started from Japan, crossed the Pacific Ocean and continued across US soil. After this discovery, the idea of bomber balloons was born. They would be able to reach the United States three days after they were launched without the need for planes or pilots. After an intensive effort, Japanese scientists completed the first bomber balloons. They were called Fugo, which means code Fu. The balloons were made of paper obtained from mulberry bushes. Hundreds of Japanese worked on their production. Each balloon carried four incendiary bombs and an anti-personnel high explosive. Their altitude was adjusted automatically during flight by an analog system that continuously measured the air pressure. It was also suggested the balloons might carry bacteria to infect the US population with cowpox. However, Emperor Hirohito forbade the deployment of any biological weapons. Between November 1944 and March 1945, about 9,300 Fugo balloons were released from Japan. Of these, less than 300 were sighted off the west coast of the US and Canada. Most were shot down by the US Army or landed harmlessly in the countryside. A total of six people, five children between the ages of 11 and 14, and a pregnant woman, Elsie Mitchell, died in a single blast after they came across an unexploded bomb while on a Sunday picnic. It's presumed that the children, not realizing what the bomb was, kicked it and caused it to detonate. A memorial, known as the Mitchell Monument, was erected in 1950 at the site of the explosion as a reminder of the brutality of war.